Jesus. My stepfather's white. Yeah, yo, yours is worse. What? Yeah, my stepfather's white. He's a, he's a white Danish man. There was never man. any confusion for you. That, no, but it confused me as well. Because I was like... Julio, she used to go on, man. So then, when you had Shaheem. Yeah, oh, Shaheem. Shaheem. <laughs> Shaheem's is, and Uncle Shaheem's looks exactly the way I am. Yes, okay. never changed. Never changed. The, mm. the best. The AK-47. The AK-47. Yeah. Yeah. There's an example I once heard about a family that uh, cuts waffles into a square, right? Mm-hmm. And make KFC burgers. <laughs> Is that where she comes from? <laughs> that is great. So they knock some of the tombstones over. And tombstones co- cost quite a lot. So they have those barricades to kind of protect. What not for criminals. What is walking around at night and not in a crowd? It's <laughs> Lewaho. <laughs> <laughs> Dubala Sanbonani Kinda Tabiso di Rupeta Noha, aka Taps on News. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news, Bahaitsu. We are rewriting history. Talk about transformation, once known as a bunch of losers. What I saw there was not a problem of coaching, was a bunch of losers. Bafana Bafana are now regarded as a bunch of winners. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we took to the field this past weekend to play against Cape Verde. We were, unlike our wives, we were not taken by their good looks. Reba, trapile, balla, nzebali cute. Ladies and gentlemen, it was such a pleasure to see Bafana Bafana win once again with the star player of the team, goalkeeper Ronan Williams, saving four penalties. Yes, the keeper kept the nation's hopes alive with four of his saves. Even though Bafana missed a few penalties, in the end. Halala, Bafana Bafana, halala. Viva, boys. Harry Pili. Tonight we take on Nigeria in the FCON semi. Semi. Yes, just checking. Sorry, we've never made it this far in any tournament in years. I thought it was still a group stage myself. We take on Nigeria in the semi-finals. It's Bafana Bafana versus Nigeria. It's South Africa versus Hillbro. It's Jalof versus Testic. Tonight, we see what happens. But uh, just so you know, boys, unlike the former minister, we are right behind you. Just a bunch of unbearable, useless individuals. Right there with you. <laughs> Ah, ladies and gentlemen, talking about winning, you know this country, it's a winning country. To tell the truth in front of the Lord, we are winners. Emmy winning comedian and friend of the show, very great friend of ours, Trevor Noah, was uh, hosting the Grammys uh, a few nights back where singing sensation Tyler won her first Grammy at the age of 22. To echo the words of the superstar, oh, what a heck, <laughs> what a heck. Who would have thought at 22 I'd be winning this award? <laughs> Think about what you were doing at 22. Yes, people like uh, Alfred Lechadima were matriculating at the age of 22. Tyler is already setting the world on fire with a hit song, Water, winning a Grammy. In the words of Bruce Lee, be like water. Water, your freezer. Water, your steamer. Water can be snow. Water can rain, evaporate, it can swim, it can float, it can do many things, <laughs> unlike wine. Yes, so the hit maker made the song, Water, Make Me Water, Make Me Sweat. Thank you, Tyler, for that hydrating song. <laughs> now look at you, Kel. Halala, South Africa. Bunch of winners. If you are going to wake up in this country and praise mediocrity, let them be told that their performance was not even like last year, was useless. All right, and uh, just on a political agenda, KG, the comedian, had some views to share about the political climate of this country. This is what he had to say. The way we are winning, I am about to 
says something very controversial. Maybe Ramaphosa deserves another term. <laughs> Comrade, maybe Ramaphosa is the one. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm just saying there's a possibility the way there was Madiba magic, maybe there was there's Angola magic in the works I'm just, think about it come back to me later, don't make any rush decisions just think about it maybe this, these winnings are inspired by <laughs> Good night, comrades. Congratulations again, Tyler. Congratulations to all of you as a country. Nigeria, Wednesday is Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you to every single person who registered to vote this past weekend. Many numbers of people made their way to voting stations, both physically and digitally. President Uncle Cyril Ramaphosa said he was very grateful to see the turnout of people in Soweto. I don't think he realizes that many people live there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the youth, I urge you, please read the manifestos of the parties you want to vote for. Understand the cardinal pillars of those parties and what they stand for. This past uh, few days, we saw young freedom fighters who went to go and speak in KwaZulu-Natal. One from Limpopo was caught using Zulu and almost broke his tongue. But we blame it on the braces. No, I don't know Zulu, ne? Because last time I spoke Zulu, they, they did a video. As voted at EFF, no more low shady. You can't start in low shady. Ne? Viva EFF, viva. Viva DOT, viva. Nyabong. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we cross over to a man who is the only person who gets invited to Peltusi's house on this cast. Ladies and gentlemen, we cross over to Lord Shedding, Maziboko. Oh, thank you. Uh, Tabs, the rupee, it's a snake in Python, anaconda in anacondas. Uh, Lord Shedding, Maziboko, reporting live from Terminal A. As you can see, for those that don't know Terminal A, Clearly, you don't have a passport uh, because Nina Nishali Lisem Zanti, Waya Waya. Tina Traveler, we are going out to go see the world. Speaking of the world, I'm a piano to the world. Congratulations, Tyler, and all the Grammy winners. Congratulations to Bafana Baki Bafa, Na Bafana Baki Bafa, Na Ribabola Sama La. The penalty ready say, Va Ronald Williams, Gincha. Uh, Ronald Williams is definitely a keeper. Congratulations to Ronwen Williams, his girlfriend, for having a keeper. Things we need to lose in this country are things like load shedding corruption, but definitely not Ronwen Williams because he is a keeper. Speaking of uh, great things, the country, uh, we are very excited for this, uh, this game that is happening tonight. Um, we'll be watching it live from Cape. So we'll find a town that's this side, but it's not the cape that you're thinking of. Not all heroes wear capes, but speaking of heroes, camera three, my brother, we appreciate you. With that being said, I don't have much else to say, but congratulations, South Africa, we are doing the most. Uh, we are on the way to, uh, do you have your passport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cape Got Verde. my money from my tender. Yes. I'm going to Cape Verde. Cape Verde. Uh, 14th of February, uh, men's conference. <laughs> cape Verde is the location. Can we let me uh, Lady Pinati, and yo, 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 do you yo. also have the Macheo? Eh? Okay, eh, I we'll, forgot that one. Yeah, go get the Macheo. Men's Conference, 14 February, location Cape Verde. Thank you. Raleboha, Lightning, Maziboku, have a safe trip out there. Be safe, my brother. It seems like uh, tourism has picked up in Cape Verde since that tournament game between Bafana Bafana in the AFCON after cameraman number three revealed the true gems of Cape Verde. Ladies and gentlemen, singer, sensation, train of love, hit maker, the man who sang raindrops 
And the man who sings the love he knows he deserves, I'm talking none other than the Red Micah himself, who unfortunately had his red mic stolen and now just puts a secret sock that is red over any mic he uses. Donald, in denial, will be celebrating 15 years of Donald at Propaganda on the 16th of February. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Donald has been crying for 16 years on the mic and it has led him to make beautiful hits along the years. And now we celebrate in style at Propaganda. Tickets are available all roads lead to propaganda, 16th of February. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mdonana here at PNC, we are proud of you. As the only celebrity from Manziriziri, we say halala, Mdonana, halala. All right, let's check in with the weather. Alfred Lekharima, I hear you are on Clyde 9, my brother. Over to you. Make me sweat. Make me water, make me lose my breath. Welcome back to the news weather desk and a jubilation day. I am Alfred Nagadima and I am happy to be a South African as we are a bunch of winners. Whether it's Bafana Bafana, Tyler, Mosakis, you name it, we win it. We are so winning that even our clouds are shaped like nines. We are walking on sunshine. Oh, 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 oh. But right now we are going to sing, make me swear. I think we should add this one to the national anthem. Huh? Just after a deep blow fun, make me water, make me lose my breath, make me ora. Angusha from Limpopo, Musaki is coming all the way there, hot. And then he got a Grammy nomination. Johannesburg did something nobody else has ever done. A Grammy winner, a Grammy nominee, and a Grammy host all in the same place, from the same place in the same time. That's Trevor Noah and Tadabali too. Two people doing three things. Where have you ever seen that? Huh? The only other place you've seen this is Villa Gazi Street where two Nobel Prize Prize winners win, live next door one another, asking each other for eggs. Imagine the person giving you eggs being another Nobel Prize winner. Who are you? I'm Desmond Tutu. Ah, Muna, Bafana Bafana, winning in going into the semi final, Bafana Bafana going into the semi finals. Who would have thought? Not me, not you, not anybody. But here they are. The boys, the boys have beaten everybody else. Babetile, the sharks, the eagles, the eagles of Nigeria. So today is a real big one. We are fighting for the title deed at Hillbrook today. Please, boys, we need our place back. The star of the show was though none other than Ronwin Williams saving four penalties and now is the mascot for shop rides in underdeveloped areas. You save, you know, when you see a lezenke and they're selling stuff inside. That's where you find Ronwin Williams. It is said he saves too much. They say even his girlfriend says he's stingy. When Mendoza was singing 50-50, it was about Ronwin Williams. I'm eating a sale independent. Let's go 50-50. Ongusha. Mm. Cape Town took a knock this weekend when we were watching Cape Verde. We saw that I think in Cape, there's always something nice to look at. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Cameraman. Ay. Or Tazicho Marlo. Or Tazicho Marlo. Thank you, cameraman. That was an entertaining game, even in the unentertaining moments. <laughs> Can I watch that game? It's the only game I've ever watched on Rewind. I was yeah. checking highlights. Highlights. <laughs> that is the weather. And as Alfred Nkadima, I want to say good luck, Bafana Bafana. Please win this match today so that we can know what sponsors our national team shirts. Because I don't know what label that one is. La Please make us know it by making it iconic. Win the World Cup. I say World Cup. Win the Afcon. Win the World Cup. Win something. But please, don't make it politicized. This is not a political win. This is South Africans for South Africans. It's you and me, South Africa. Alfred Legadima signing out. Make me sweat. Yeah. Ongwish. Uta. Make me lose my breath. Fellow newsman and a person who's been known to look like the coach from Super Strikers, Temekile Mokhototo, 
was uh, recently caught in the news saying he's now moving on from the room he does news at. If this is true, Tembigile Mkhoto to my brother, we at PNC News are saying there's a vacancy open here. If you'd like to send us your CV, please send it to pncnews.co.za. We look forward to sharing this news desk with you, my brother. Thank you for revealing the stories and the secrets of those people who didn't want to come out with them at the podcasts. <laughs> That's it from us here at PNC News. Remember to vote. Remember, we here at PNC News. Sintanda nonke makaya. Mkhototo, this could be you. Mkhototo, newsroom might have unfollowed you, but here, my brother, we follow you wherever you go, even if you come here. Thank you for watching PNC News. My name, as always, is Tabiso Di Rupi Tsanoha. This has been PNC News. Ring a ding, it's a big day. Chica, chica, dum, chica. Robo Pops. What is that? I'll be the machis girl, the machis boy da. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a jala story. Pets and I'm a guest, a nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of choice. That it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 Call you one boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call the world world like friends like these. You win. Guys, you know you've made it in life when Issa Rae is your clapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Issa Rae. <laughs> no way. I was going to say the fourth power path. <laughs> the fourth one. Yeah, the black actually. one, you know, the third, the lazy one. <laughs> Oh, is it because she's got four edges? Oh, she, she's got four edges. There's actually no, the power there's pump. There's a fourth one. There's yeah, a fourth one. Yeah. 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 the black power pump. Yeah, the black power pump. For real. You see the bag, Galaxy Girl. Mm. I mean, I saw the four edges. Plus, this one is independent. Where there's, where there's no hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think edges need to end, though. Ah, uh, no, those ones are fine. You no, know, those there ones are, are, there's ones that get really bad. You know when bros on Twitter complain about hands that never gave their sweaters back? I don't know what <laughs> yeah, boy, she so couldn't, she didn't have come she here. She couldn't get her hands out to clap. It was so big. <laughs> That's why she ran away fast. Because she was going to recognize. Uh, and she couldn't run away fast because the bell bottoms. Like, you know, she, <laughs> all I heard was shut, 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 shut. Cheese boys, cheese girls, and the, the cheese gang. gang. Welcome yeah. to yet another episode of the Popcorns and the Cheesings. The cheese of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are proudly broadcasting live from Beyond the Eye Studios. Beyond the Eye Studios, where studios should be, right in the heart of Centurion, where load shedding only happens three times a year. Today is one of those days. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, and it's alien. Hey, no, <laughs> it's rough. We have no air con. We couldn't microwave. Bra, we had to we had to boil Langa's tea in mm. the in the car. We had to run, we had to run the quid. So that the water can boil in the engine. And now my bedroom is finished. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a lift, Titi. We'll leave the car here. Right. No, we'll put it in your car. <laughs> You'll put the quid in this car. Hey, guys, let good people be, man. Let them be. They've got enough problems. Imagine driving a car where you're scared with your people or more. Bra, oh, or having to share an airbag with someone, man, child. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On a rainy day, I'm a quid, I'm a, I'm a poem, you know? You mm -mm. can't. You can't. You must stop under Nizo the bridge. You must drown under the bridge. You must drown under the bridge. Yes, bro, that thing will get blown away. I'm going to tell you that I'm Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want, like, when I packed my quid, I was scared because of the way Robert is dressed today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like you repossess quids by hand. <laughs> you look like... <laughs> Automatic ones only. <laughs> For some reason, you guys. You look like a security guard during the looting. <laughs> nine, nine. I was helping the people loot just to keep the streets clean. Ah! Hey! 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 Yo, ladies and gentlemen, talking about clean, representing Lebois Homo, having bathed twice today, ladies and gentlemen, gives us great honor 
to introduce the man behind the mic. You never see him, but you hear him. He has more moments than Bafana Bafana on the pitch. Please put your digital hands together. Give it up for the Beyonce of the group, the man, the myth, the legend. Give it up for the one and only Titi Chumerik the Barbarian. Why did you say he bath twice today? Oh no, because he's changed his look twice today. Oh, I thought yeah. it was because of the rain. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Gunji, yeah, quit. Quit your leak, I have to lie again. Again, I wonder the day, the day I can afford a, a Porsche, and this year I got like a Porsche. Your which, jokes which have one? Finished. The Lego one. Which Porsche? Carrera. Yeah, Carrera, Carrera five. Aye, your Carrera five. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, looking like a security guard in Hillbro, it gives us great honor and pleasure to introduce a man who is militant about his talent, Robert Themzi, the boy. Barry Red is for stop, Amber is for almost Briga, but green means go, so go get that more fire. Ladies and gentlemen, please put Which your one is this hands one? together. Help us welcome a man who dances with his words and uses words to dance with. H! I don't know what I was saying, but it made sense in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the one and only Robot Mzi, the boy. Oi, oi. Ladies and gentlemen, where would we be without a captain on any ship? In this relationship, we have a lot of friendships. The one who leads, the one who takes the steering wheel by the hand. The one who is the president of the Yellow Pawns, wearing a jersey that is showing us his muscles because the sun's not out, but the guns must always be out. Boys of Soweto, all the way from Soweto. Also with another Sowetan boy. Aye. And we are all Sowetans. It's not a Sunday, but we're all stars. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the leader of the Yellow Pawns, multi talented stand up comedian, the host of the most, Mpopops Marikwane. <laughs> Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, today, oh, hey, 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 yes. you are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about boys from Soweto, rocking the boys of Soweto. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest today is probably, in my humble opinion, the most gifted mm -hmm. vocalist we have yeah. in this country yeah ladies and gentlemen a man whose surname is the thing that gets left behind on the night dress <laughs> in the morning after you've had an encounter with someone new makshoni langa ushiamavoso ladies which one is this one hey 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 his surname is the mascot for devon july <laughs> What a girl, girl. Ah! <laughs> you guys. <laughs> hey. In true Boys of Soweto style, rocking an all-star, a pepperi, and rocking an overall looking like he recently renovated a house. Please, <laughs> put your digital hands together. We Make some one. noise. Let's give an official warm popcorn and cheese welcome to the incredibly talented, yeah. the one and only, mm -hmm. Langa Mavuso! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Hey! Yeah. So, 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 <laughs> you guys are busy <laughs> making a joke of my surname. Awesome. But you know what? It's fine. I don't mind. Chalete. Aich! My voice. Ah, yeah, yeah! The coins! Finished. Welcome to Popcorn and Cheese. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Shout out. Langs. You know, the most interesting thing about Lang, and I was doing my research on, uh -huh. you know, because I'm a professional. Oh. <laughs> His, he, the, the stage name Lang Mavuso is both of his surname, is the surnames of both of his parents. Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah. That's insane. Surely you know this though. You didn't I think do. Langa was my name. I, I know, but I can't read. You have to. <laughs> you have to. I can't he just said, say. He just, said he just did his research. He's professional. <laughs> we have to accommodate. I'm, so so I'm the only one who didn't know this. Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Did you think Donald's name is Donald? 
Where is it, man? What's his name? He relates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, he does have a real name. He I'm does have a real name, but Donald is also. So we love Donald. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are finishing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you see the yo. I was gonna come to you and say, "Tell me how that came Is my mic? If who, this happened who, during Pearl, whose mic is it? <laughs> Uh, or, or, or imagine this happened. Yo. Ah, ah. 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 Now Saul has to walk in with the camera. Skis, 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 bamban. Do you want to change your mic pack? <laughs> oh, yeah, we are still rolling. <laughs> Good thing your mic wasn't working. I charge more for two. I would like to apologize to all the children who had those sound effects. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to Langa Mavoso. Langs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? Langs. There are people watching right now who are cheese boys and cheese girls yeah. all across the country, the continent and the world who are watching and looking at the screen right now and thinking to themselves, who is this handsome chocolate man sitting in front man. of us today? We know who you are. Yeah. Please, could you briefly, those two cameras are yours. Sure. Look into that camera right there. Let us know who you are and what it is you do for a living. Hey, man. Hey, my name is Langa Mavuso. I am a singer, songwriter, probably the best in South Africa. I, Not probably. Um, Let's go. For sure, right, Candy. Um, I'm just glad to be on, on, on this platform with you guys. Oh. I think you guys are hilarious. Uh, also, thanks for giving me my flowers because I did kill boys to men. Oh! I saw that episode. Hell yeah! <laughs> I saw that episode. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. man. So I'm a, I'm a singer, man. R&B singer. Um, and I get to do this thing all the time. I'm on stages around the country and I want to do it more around the world now. And so, yeah, I'm just here to catch up with you guys and see if there's real popcorn. Uh -huh. Shut the machis, boy. Oh, Shoganja, no problem. Ah, you mean you are? So tell us, what is your real name? Full real name. Okay, Langa is uh, my father's surname, Mavuso's mm -hmm. mother's surname. And uh, when I was studying music in Cape Town, uh, I get a phone call from my aunt, and she goes, "Yo, I'm not going to go to Mayako." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so it's interesting because but also, you know, we grew up in in um, times where our families don't usually stay together. So my mom and dad split when I was very young. And so I grew up with the Mavuso family and the Mtaung family. And they raised me. But uh, I think as a, a young man, there comes a point where you want to explore your identity, where you come from. You don't want to have children. Next thing, Sabatula and I'm a cousin. And so you want to kind of uh, explain who you are through that. <laughs> and so, <laughs> uh, and so, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know my wife. Are you dating your cousin? <laughs> no man. Um, I just, I just, <laughs> I just wanted, I just wanted so to um, <laughs> to honor my father, man, and 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 to to have an identity that is in alignment with him, because I grew up obviously with my mom and my stepdad. And uh, the longer side of the family, I kind of got to know later on in my life. And so I wanted that identity to still be a part of who I was so that people know where I come from and who, who's, who pst, I belong to. What a beautiful way to hold it. Uh, yeah. Was your, was your family involved in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the kind of your decision to honor your father's side? Because I know, how, like, you know, a lot of yeah. people, when you're raised on your mother's side, you know, there's, all, there's almost... 
not animosity, but there's a, yeah. a, a rejection. It's a sore that. point. Yeah, there's a sore point yeah. because he really did hurt her heart. Yeah. You know? So oh, how I did know. how like how how did your family? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny, but I, I'm so glad we're having this conversation. No, but you know, because I know that the three of us are affected by the same, <laughs> exactly the same, same way. <laughs> hey man, my you know, nice life you problems. Know, you know, it was it was a uh, it was a real thing, and and you're right to touch on that. It was a sore point to the point to the to the fact that I would grow up getting gifts from my dad, but my mom wouldn't say it's from my dad, right? Yeah, figi pays kill. How? Father Christmas, including. Hi, and ban ban, and so even talking about my dad was something that we were not very comfortable with doing. Until much, much later on, I never discussed it with my parents, you know, the whole using of my, of my dad's surname. And they kind of saw it when, when the single came out with Black Coffee and it was like Langa Mavuso, right. Sunday Blues. And then my Daung family was like, Manju, Uba Nulang, you know? And I was like... <laughs> so it didn't click? Oh, yeah, there? no, obviously, I th- because it wasn't brought up, you know, my father wasn't brought up a lot at home. It was a very separate relationship that I had with him and his family. Uh, it can, we, had, we had to have the conversation again. Uguchi, no, man, remember that this, this oak is, is, is my stepfather. I know he married my mom when I was two. Oh, but um, at the end of the day, I still, I still have um, the, real. the other family, you know, and so... Oh. Let me honor them. And so this will be part of the story that I tell the world. And so I don't want in any way to think that I exclude you or forget or you chose the sides. impact. Yeah. A plus you know I mean? right? Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. It and tough. it's almost like you must forget. But the funny thing is that Haile Mokete, they don't forget. Yes. Because the aunties go, I don't want to Mm-hmm. Uh, well, now you don't look like yeah. and then they go I won you know and mm-hmm. oh, I only remember this one being yeah. born I don't remember you being born so there's kind of that thing that you that you go through where you you don't really belong anywhere um and I mean when you when you're a boy you know growing up in 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 South Africa or maybe just in the African context work constantly reminded that like our patriarchal side is the the lineage that we follow and the name that we continue right yes. and so even when your mother's family raises you there's always that feeling of like when are you going to use it are you going to change your surname and all of those kinds of things and i was never going to change my father, my, my surname to my mother's to my dad's surname um and so I think using Langa is the best way that I can honor him and, and give him his acknowledgement. But I'm very grateful to my mom and my dad who raised me. And like I said, my stepdad married my mom when I was two. Mm. So that's my dad. So it's basically... Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I call him stepdad to make sense for other Obvious people. Yeah. But, but, you know, but I, I don't speak about him as my stepdad. When I speak, I go my keep, dad. Keep up out. You know, because that's my dad. He raised me and he's still in my life. Every single day. Yeah. Uh, we had an awkward moment once where I played at uh, uh, Gold Drift City, uh, the theater there. And then uh, I told my road manager, oh, bring my parents so that we can take a picture. So he brings in my mom and dad backstage. And he's like, Ish, there's another guy who says he's your dad. I'm like, Ish. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> Bring him also. Bring him. So now there's this awkward moment. I've never seen both of my dads in the same room <laughs> until <laughs> that day. <laughs> and I've just played the show. It was amazing, amazing, amazing show at Gold City. And then um, now, road manager goes, Get on this you know, Anke. Now, Bablangas <laughs> here. Tatum Taung is the sign. My mom, my He's younger on the brother. Side. I can feel my dad the side, not happy with the situation. What a voice. And oh now the son. road manager's like, hi, man, time. Smile. And now and my dad both. is not trying to smile. Yo. But it was a funny moment. But those are the things we go through, man. Yo, man. And I think it's crazy how yeah. it's your success that brought them into one room. Yeah. It's your journey that brought them into one room. And yeah. I think as funny as the story is, it's like a, another cool moment for you. It's a full circle yeah. moment. Yeah. Absolutely. Because your whole, the way you named yourself is a coming together of these two families. Yeah. And that physically happened. happened. Yeah. But it happened because you created that identity yeah. and you were able to move forth in your yeah. career, your God given talent. Yeah. And then that full circle moment came where your family actually yeah. came together, yeah. right? Because had you not been successful, you'd have had one father. 
One. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, man. I think <laughs> you guys, you guys are wild. But here's the funny thing about all three of them, right? <laughs> And sorry to talk about this publicly to the parents. Love you guys. Here's the funny thing about all three of my parents. All three of them can sing like what? crazy, right? And my dad's dream was to become a singer, right? My my biological dad. Mm. And when he came to Joburg, that was the dream. He came to come try and make that dream come to fruition. He met my mom. They, met, they had me. They broke up. My mom joined a choir when she moved to Orlando. And in the choir, she met my stepdad. And then they fell in love singing. What, and so was music... he soprano? <laughs> was she alto? Uh, he was the conduct. <laughs> <laughs> and he would give her solo. Listen. Queen <laughs> <laughs> Tandy. The rest of the and members, man. why was this Maria Mani? <laughs> this is the way I want this. <laughs> 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 but it's uniform, it's <laughs> <laughs> and when you look back in the boy too, you know they start getting responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> uniform, so it's a Why are you not asking a uniform? <laughs> no, I, 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 that's what I think about it. Eh? Cause I think a few months after, uh, because my my dad met my mom when I was very young. I think I was a year old. Mm -hmm. Um, and then they got married when I was two. But like, I'm just like. They really got to this choir, sang, 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 bakapana, bakapana. Eventually, okay, good. You know that there's this kid, and then you get married. Like, I just found it so fascinating that it could happen so quickly for them. You know that yeah. my mom could find love so soon, and that they could be connected in a very similar way. You know, to my dad through music. When my mom broke up with my dad, apparently she broke. All his vinyls, like she Ooh. went to his house uh, at Chico and she Twana. said, Zah, no. Zah, Papa Zah. Zah. And my dad only tells me this because Lady Smith, Black Mamba, Zah. Zah. homeless. Uh, <laughs> what <a> God, yeah. <laughs> no, so the only reason why I know this, is, the only reason why I know this is because. My dad comes to my house the one day and I got I've got a vinyl player and I've got like hey hey Gusa sends him my yana man there's like six vinyls sitting there and yeah. he's like hey Fanram you know you have a whole collection. He oh. said I came home one day Ish. and all of them were in half. What so did he do? Just like, hey man, he's a Zulu man. Hey Zulu man. Hey. 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 Zulu man. Hey. Hey. Zulu man. Uh, <laughs> no. oh. <laughs> He's definitely the longer of men, okay? Oh. <laughs> He's the son. Okay. So no. But my but but he ended up um having kids with with, with someone else. Mm. And my mom was just like, hey man, I can't do this. Mm. And so yeah. It is what it is. Similar stories, man. But yeah. like yeah. In, in all honesty, I'm so glad you touched on the identity topic because that's what we go through, especially as African men yeah. uh, in, 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 in this country where a lot of our moms have to step in to raise us and they do phenomenal jobs. Yeah. You know? Shout out. Not, not all of us are lucky enough to have um, a stepdad that comes in yeah. when, mm. when we're at the age of one and yeah. assume that responsibility yeah. until... Yeah. Or have a stepfather who sees your mom hitchhiking and makes a U-turn on the highway, <laughs> right. picks her up and yes. assumes responsibility. In, this my, I, in my defense, my mom was really my mom is beautiful. Same. <laughs> I don't like to. Like, I I don't doubt, I don't I don't same. blame that guy. I, I would have done the same. Yeah. Same. My mom my is very beautiful. Be me, me also, you know, like yeah. cause, cause my, the my, story. No, so that, that's the story. Titi's, Titi's mom, mom was hitchhiking and then he just stepped dead so and then do the U-turn and that's how they met <laughs> and he never went to where he was going ever <laughs> till today he's still not back on that chair no there's someone waiting ah <laughs> uh, go beg us for it yeah Maurice Utanink <laughs> it's been 30 years <laughs> but yeah U-turn but you on the on the identity crisis because I also yeah. have the same. I carry my stepdad's surname. Yeah. Chumia. Never carried my biological father's name. I thought my dad for a long time was my 
biolog- my, I thought my stepdad was yeah. my, my biological father. But, but you were there the day of the U turn. Yeah, but remember, you don't. You you thought you just think your dad just picked you up or something. Yeah. You understand? Like you don't think. Also, it's such a long period of time that yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't kid, remember yeah. every single yeah. detail. So. What is the one thing that I remember is that only in my later years did it become an identity crisis for myself. Because when you're a kid, it's all cool, you know, you're just playing around with all the other kids. And then they start telling you, hey, man, the reason your head is bigger than everyone else. (laughs) (laughs) Uh -uh, uh -uh. (laughs) It's not... It's not a straightforward answer. Z, Because my stepdad is dark. <laughs> like, and I'm like, why am I, am I, why am I not dark? Like, hey, my brother, hey. So you're the only one that's dark in the family, the only one with the big head. Oh, yeah, I'm the one short. Like, you know, everyone else is really tall, except for my mom. So... Like that really messed with my mind for a very long time, especially when I knew because I was like, Where is this guy? Yeah, he died, bro, without me ever seeing him. Damn, like I'm saying, same, like, same, same thing with you, my dog, because my stepfather's white. Yeah, yo, yours is West. <laughs> yeah, my stepfather's white. He's a, he's a white Danish man. There was never man. any confusion for you then. That no, but it confused me as well. Because <laughs> I was like, William <laughs> just to There's a chairman in my stool. There's a chairman in my stool. Hey, hey. You were shocked your whole life. <laughs> So when he punished you, did he hit you? No, the white father. <laughs> no, but <laughs> listen, so I must. Let's talk. I was, I was almost tripping over. No, no, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> when you we went to the toilet, like, had wow. my father <laughs> met my mother sooner. No, but <laughs> no, but it's the, it's the same thing, you know, like where my my dad also, because he how they met was he was on a business trip in South Africa setting up their company here and the business bought the house next door to our house. Oh. So we were neighbors. Nah, as pure. Uh, uh, wait, <laughs> in, in Middle East. Uh-uh. In Middle East. Is the Chilla Cow song playing in your mind? <laughs> wait. I'm a deep, 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 it's so it's such a it's such a faraway cousin kind of thing, right? So my dad has other kids and they're related to Killer. Oh, okay. Okay. Something, yeah. Something so you like guys that. have voices so in I all. Him, him, all right. like, this this family has voices in all. And I was like, sure, Killer. He's like, yes, you guys did. I was like, Kajani. He's like, Sabe, Locho, Sabza. Kazinyam, Sabza, Kushkuti, Kazinyam. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's cool, yeah, crazy, cool, man. man. But yeah, yeah you I know. want to hear the story. So, gonna, what, so what, what, what business does a Danish company have buying a, a house in, in Middlelands? Middle Not Middlelands. We were living in Mondio at the time. Where in Mondio? Uh, Mondio. Really? Yeah. I live so close. So I, where, you, we, where did you live? I, I grew up in Lake Mondio. Okay. And oh. then just down the road from Columbine. Yes. And then we moved to Mierdo. That's crazy. What school My did you go still to? in Columbine. I went to Middle Primary. And high school? National School of the Arts. Oh, oh, in the South. Why has I mind you high? We are born. We are born. I'm a who's. Well, I mean, yes, I love, love Mondio. <laughs> no, but but so we we were living at Mondio at the time. So I was a teenager when when my stepdad came into my life. I think uh, well, yeah, twelve, thirty, something. Yeah, yeah. But um, but he they they were setting up a factory because my my stepdad is a is a chemical engineer. Mm. Right, so they were setting up a plant and a factory, so they bought the the unit next to us for the for the guys to come in and set up and. Oh yeah. So yeah, so while he was there, he went to the shops the one day and realized because we had a the pick and pay was called right value. The right value. Yes, that's yeah. what we oh, bought. Right 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 yeah. 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 And you used to go to the machine and exactly. cut it yourself. You cut it <laughs> Remember that small trolley? Yes, <laughs> that was the one. first that time they introduced the tiny trolleys with the flex. Huh? No, it's, 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 it's. <laughs> oh, 
Never mind, flag. never mind. Le- okay, value. So, <laughs> right value. So right then, value and Shaheem. Yeah, no, Shaheem. Shaheem's, yeah. Shaheem's, yeah. Shaheem's and Uncle Shaheem's looks exactly the way. Really? Oh, yes. Never changed. Oh, guys, never changed. That got uh, mm. the best. The AK-47. The AK-47. Yeah. 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 Bro, so my, my, my dad walks into right value and sees this Valentine setup. Standard. And so he's, he doesn't know what's going on. So he asks and they, and they explain to him what Valentine's Day is. So in Denmark, they don't celebrate Valentine's Day. There's no Valentine's Day. Is it then or no? <laughs> hey, hey, that one didn't hey. make a mark. So they explain to him, no, you, you get some... <laughs> That was Just cause the dent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish the story. <laughs> I love the <this> show. <laughs> I want to hear why, <laughs> Bruh. So, so they explained to him. You know, on, this is a day you celebrate someone that you care about, you love. You get them flowers and yeah. chocolates and a teddy bear and whatnot. So he's like, oh, okay. So then he bought that stuff for my mom. And then he came back home and he was like, and they were just neighbors at the time. And he's like, oh, I heard about this Valentine's Day thing. Here are these things. So you can imagine a black mom who's never received flowers. Yeah. And And she was just like, whoa. Damn. What's going on? Jeez. I've been looking for love in the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? I think what red and white. This whole time. <laughs> red and white. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> huh? Had he said something no, to her before? No, they they first encounter. That was the, no, no. They they That's had they had obviously turn. met because they meet, met and whatever because we were neighbors and he was a very like good neighbor and then valentine's rolled around i guess like a a few weeks into the neighborly thing and then boom jeez and then yeah they started dating he shot his shot yes Ganti, he scored the penalty uh-huh. and then yeah have you ever seen someone move from next door into this house <laughs> As- <laughs> it actually happened <laughs> Who moved? You guys or him? He, he moved this side. But That's at some point, moved. we were living in yeah. jewel houses. Yeah. 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 Which boy? Yeah, is that a unit 49 or yeah. Which boy? Yeah. Which unit today? Where is the pizza perfect going? <laughs> hey, dog. What, what, but he had to did, bribe me. He had to bribe me. How did he bribe? He bought me a PlayStation. Oh wow! Done. Yeah, and you are so yeah. sold. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he had to buy me a PlayStation. And then you also and chip it. He bought you that you were like, I was What's also chip looking it? for love. So that you can life. play uh, other games. Oh. So, so he bought me a PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. He chipped Is that it. a PlayStation or and, a and, he, and he bought me a Ferrari model car because I, you know, I like model cars. So, so then, yeah. yeah. So, so you are sold the same time. My dog. <laughs> and till this day, we maintain like playing PlayStation and racing games together and whatnot. But, oh, that's but that, that's, 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 that, really that's how my stepdad came into my life, right? But as much as back to your identity thing, as much as we can be raised with love from our mothers yeah. and our stepfathers, there comes a time yeah. when you have to now step into your identity yep. as a man, yep. yeah. right? Now go back to the African child aspect, right? Where there's certain things that people talk to you about and they say, yeah. you can't go forward or progress because you haven't acknowledged yeah. the side of the family or these ancestors. Yep. You haven't done umsebenzi yeah. to acknowledge, to be taken. Because most of the time you find that our parents, like especially our mothers, your dad didn't do the right thing by your mom. Yeah. Or finish so they the did, lobola. They didn't go and yeah. pay the lobola. They didn't go and slaughter for you or do the necessary ancestral work to welcome you. Yeah. So there's a lingering thing. That's why we all have this lingering thing. Then it almost becomes your burden mm. to then go and do it yourself mm. at an older age. Yeah. It's tricky because the, the the ritual behind it is also not so straightforward, right? Mm-hmm. Because in recent years, I've kind of listened to traditionalists speak about how Intlawolo doesn't allow you to give the child the father's the surname. surname. Because essentially, Intlawolo you've made this mistake and so here you are to say that we're here to do that but if you actually want the child to change the surname right and so I think a lot of our generation 
or at least let me say myself, I thought for a long time that Uxawula means that you can actually then go and do the changing of the surname. Yes, but I also hearing so. that actually that's just the beginning part of the journey, right? That's because the even of when the they did it traditionally back in the days, maybe Uxawula, they would arrive early in Tata Xeni, right? So that the community doesn't see, essentially. They here to to uzo bigger, but only so um then when Thomas and Uzo Ambi extend in Tata before Lang Al Puma, but Fiagam Fana by Obigis, right? Because it's a private thing. Yes. And then the boys' family comes back, Bezo Shaula, so that they can make right by by her, right? Because Sebe Moshid. And then for that child to grow up in that other homestead, it said, and and I, I might be wrong. It said that uh, culturally, sorry, and or if if she doesn't want to marry the the woman and maybe say pops, you want to change your surname to your dad's now. Mm-hmm. It said that just your, your dad's family is supposed to come and lobola you, yes. so that you can go to that side. Yes, because as long as inyongo inga wanga is buying that your mother does not belong. In that family, and so even for you, if you nyongo aiwang, guso lesos by leso. Now we are fan and umuntu ngazio in that household. Mm. So it's it's quite complex, and I think trying to explore it and understand it, but also understanding the reason behind why certain things happen in the way that they do mm. is interesting. So we live we live in an interesting time where yeah. we have a world view of relationship dynamics and being in a position where I can. I can choose this side of the family because they've been loyal. They raised me, yeah. they love me, they whatnot. But there's also the part of like taking responsibility as an African to sort yeah. things out. But you can choose. You can go, ah, I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do anything about it. Mm. Or you can choose to do something about it. Yeah. Right? You can you can be a modern person and go, ah, this doesn't bother me. I don't care. I don't, mm. I don't believe in this mm. stuff. Or you can go, hey, mm. oksalayo. Yeah. I know if I don't do this, I'm not fixing it for not just for me, but for future generations yeah. after me. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> How important is that to you? And sort of have you made strides in rectifying that on a on a traditional level? I think for me, I've made peace with the fact that I'm never gonna change my surname to my father's surname. Mm. Um I believe in uh, being a part of his community and his family in the sense that I acknowledge them, I spend time with them, I have a relationship with them. Yes. Same with my mother's family, same with Abagwam Ab- Taung. And, and, and for me, it's it's really been about understanding what is this whole idea of having to be attached to this community more than the other, you know? Mm-hmm. And it takes me back to... Even the name, right? Where does the name come from? And why do we use certain surnames? And 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 where did it be- begin? Because in certain cultures, it comes from your tribe, right? It's more, it, 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 it is, to represent, yeah. you know? Yes. Yes. And so it's 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 kind of your 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 way back to those people, right? Even I think in Asian culture. I might be wrong. I heard this somewhere. Like when people, are, like certain surnames, like Lee and things like that, are actually a title and not a name. You know, um, so like 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 English people when their surnames are Smith, right? It would represent the the artisanal craft that they were part of. Black at a spe- yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. Uh, that 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 family was known title. for, right? And so w- when I'm trying to think about it in my identity, that's what I want to explore more is where does it come from and w- what is in the name, right? And yeah. and why is it so important? And and it comes to like many things that we do because really a lot of practices and traditions come from social agreement. Right. If you guys decide to do this over and over again, and then you have chil- you you have children, and they come and do this with you over and over again, and they have children who do it over and over again, eventually there'll be a generation that thinks that if they don't do this, mm. something's wrong, because yeah. it's the culture mm. amongst the two of you and your families to be in practice of conversation. And so when when 
you're six generations down and they look back, it's become a culture and a tradition to them, you know? Um, it's, it's, it, and then this, this, is, this speaks to a lot of things in society, like Masbugi Lobola and things like that is between two families and yeah. introducing uh, yourself to that family and the reason why you bring cows, Ugbonga, first of all, and then also to show Uguti, I'm not going to take your child and make them starve and, yeah. Yeah. without yeah. going, you know? You know? Yeah. If you are able to provide and do this, I can thank you by giving the mother a cow, the father a cow, and a cow for the entire family to slaughter and to share, mm. to show you that mm. your child is not going to barren to land, suffer. Yeah. to go and suffer, you know? Oh. And so oh. I think about all of those things and I'm Ooh. trying to unpack it for myself in the journey. Maybe in five years, I'm going to want to use my dad's surname, you know? But right now, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable acknowledging him in the way that I do. Oh, I'm comfortable in, 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 the, in the relationship that I have with him because I'm much closer mm-hmm. with him now. Mm-hmm. I'm much closer with his children, my siblings, um, now than I was when I was young. I mean, when I was growing up, in Mondrian and in Mierdale, it was just me and my younger brother. And that was until high school. Then when I got to high school and I went to KZN and I met my other siblings, all of a sudden there's like eight of us, you know? And so even that transition for me of understanding it, okay, you're, it's not just you and Bobo. It's you, Sabelo, Bobo, Tandega, Sishe, all of these people. Mm. And, 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 and understanding the importance of relating to them and relating to the different kinds of families. Because... <laughs> Even in our growth as people, even when we're siblings, we go apart eventually, you know? Uh-huh. If you think about your grandmother's sister, your grandmother's sister has a whole different family with a whole different set of traditions and things. And so, uh-huh. yes, we try to connect, but connections will eventually separate. Uh-huh. And so why is it so important to do it right now? Uh-huh. I'm trying to figure that out for myself. Oh, you're not crazy. You know, not so, your like, mind, bro. Yeah. Like, and that's what... School is in session, then. Eh? <laughs> school is in proper But session. it's thinking school, you know? It's yeah. Not, yeah. I, I don't like people saying, hey, you must do this. I don't like that. No. Can no, I add but to but that? We've, we've had to find our identity. Can I add and to what, like, what you're saying about people saying you must do this and how um, your mind is working, bro? It's like, there's an example I once heard about a family that... Uh, cuts waffles into a square, right? Mm-hmm. And make KFC burgers. <laughs> Is that where she comes from? <laughs> Guys, wait. No. Oh my gosh, Pops. I do it. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> like, I can't take you niggas anyway. That's a terrible. There's, a, there's, this, there's this family that cuts the waffles into a square like when they make them, right? Mm-hmm. Um... The daughter grows up to also know how to operate the kitchen and starts doing the same thing her mom was doing. Right? Yeah. Like you're saying, she grows up, gets married, another daughter. So the generation does that, right? Yeah. And it's like, oh, let's make waffles and we have to cut them into these small pieces. Mm. Daughter asks mom, mom, why do you do this? I'm like, oh, because that's how I was taught, Okay. By who? Mom. Okay, grand, grand. Why do you do this? No, my mom used to do. My mom, my mom, my mom, my mom. Yeah. And then when it got to Ukoko Waga Koko. Yeah. They said the ovens weren't big enough for the actual whole thing. There we go. So they had to cut it and then put it and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So some of the things are that simple. Some of them don't even have that much significance. Some of them don't have that much reason. But if you think like how you're speaking, you'll actually get to understand better instead of also fall into a let's because bate instead yeah. of getting the information and getting... And I think that's where the, our generation is right now. Yeah. Or that's where the people are starting to like... Yes. And we, and we need to do that research. We need to yeah. investigate so that we can know certain things like that, right? Yeah. I was, I was, uh, I was told by, 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 one, uh, by a spiritual guide that... We were just basically talking about exactly this, like yeah. researching certain cultural behaviors mm. that we have. I didn't know that this thing of dressing in black when there's a funeral. Like in Victoria. It's it, but it also stems from the fact that a lot of our dads or grandfathers were minors, right? Yeah. That's and the they would uniform color. They would no no that when they would pass away, the widow would have to come to the mine to come and collect uh Crazy. the the severance pay or the whatnot, what yeah. they had to be dressed in black. 
so that the thing you could identify, the, you never could identify that, oh, Ushonelwe. Yeah. So that oh. became a thing. But you know, before oh. mines, right, when, 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 when the Europeans got to Africa, well, specifically Southern Africa, um, cause, cause the black dress comes from Queen Victoria yes. and when she was mourning her king, she decided never to wear another color than black, other than black, right? Mm -hmm. And we see it, we see, um, the remnants of, 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 of our history in even the way that we, we dress as, as people like Amatosa, the way they dress their bride, you know, it's, 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 it's a Victorian style of dress, you know, it's very mm -hmm. European. It's actually not an African yes. uh, practice. Yes. But, when I when when you speak about that, and sorry to digress for two seconds, when you speak about that, my friend had a funeral for her grand, right? And then we sa I sat there for a second. I was like, why do we put matras on the floor? There's so many things that I feel like we need a question. Yeah, one on this pancake in these, waffles this, this waffle mm. thing is you'll find that the first like, family just didn't have a base. Exactly. Yo, what on the street is exactly. that? What on the street is that? One of the most popular pastors. In I think the closer community had not really asthma, but he had a like he, he had short breath every time he preached, and that's why you met Tata. And it's like most of the other pastors are doing that Do now. now. And it's like, are you doing that because it's a pastoral thing, or this because the actual brewer who was more popular because of that? So it's had like a, a flow. It's like yeah. a flow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but we need to I this matras you. one. We need to get that right. There's so many things that we need to, 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 the, to the funeral. Why thing. are we washing our hands when we come back from the with funeral? Aloe with aloe vera. With the aloe. I still want to understand <laughs> that one. We all have to wash our hands in one thing. Now, what guys? I saw that guy digging his nose. Now we're in the bus. So the other thing that. It's also not us. Yeah. This conversation it's tombstones. is so hard. <laughs> tombstones, yeah. Tombstones is not... It, we don't traditionally have to do tombstones, but it's been sold to us that yeah. it's part of our tradition that after a certain amount of time, you have to erect yeah. the house. It's not our tradition That to one, do I can't okay. understand. Because then Tombstone. it's like, you have the finances to try give the deceased to something great now that you like, you really love... Why do they need for, a gift? Again, yeah. but it's like, <laughs> I don't think there was tombstones back then because were they, they were that many tombstone people? When I went to KZN, many... met biological dad's family, that was the first time I saw people being buried in the, in the homestead, backyard. in the yard. Yeah, right? in the backyard. And all there is is trees. So my dad goes, Across. your great-grandfather's under that tree. Mm. And that tree is your great grandmother, and we're gonna bury is your granddad fruit? here, and all of this. And there was no tombstone. Is it a fruit tree? No, it's <laughs> <tree. laughs> a mango. Because the next time I come back, <laughs> <with> my <laughs> my <laughs> that tree has nutrients. You guys are terrible. <laughs> You guys are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, tombstones not us. <laughs> uh, you know, okay, I found out something really cool uh, when I went to the war home this, uh, this December. Yes. <laughs> so when I went to the war home, there's a new graves, grave site. I want to leave because yeah. I want the influx of the deaths too much. Yeah. <laughs> So there's a lot of people with barricades in the on the tombstone. Yes. With like mm. a fence. Fence, yeah. yeah. A fence around and I didn't know why. Apparently it's because of cows. What about the cows? What are the cows doing? So at night the gravesite is usually like vacant, right? Any like stray animals can just walk in and the cows don't really walk in straight lines. So they knock some of the tombstones over. And tombstones co cost quite a lot. So they have those barricades to kind of protect. What not cow for criminals. is walking around at night and not in a crawl? It's <laughs> Lewaho. <laughs> 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 yeah! Come on, man. <laughs> ah, they come it back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys are Bro, terrible. do you see how nice small towns, like, we all have the same problems, but they different. Like, your grave problem is because cows are knocking down the tombstones. Oh, Rona, no, people are stealing the tombstones. Rona, Rona, the tombstones are being stolen. How? By yeah, gra yeah. yeah. So if you go, yeah. if you go to our grave sites, like Mo, Mo Avalon, yeah. Mo Dobsonville, 
They're stealing tombstones. That's marble, And dog. then people are taking it and recreating, like, There's kitchen, kitchen counters. counter. So sometimes you go to someone's ah, house. And then you can see the counters not sitting right, man. When they're cutting you bread, who's saying? Robalaka Court. Which one is this one? <laughs> you are having a peanut butter sandwich there. Suling your busy guy, man. No. But, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to tell Zendi, not to lie. Here lies. The next one, sunrise, sunset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, but 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 I'm not dead. Nineteen forty-eight, two thousand and two. I'm going But I found out a very a very scary fact while we're on this particular topic. I found oh. out a very scary fact somewhere in, in Africa. I can't remember if it's Libya or Liberia. I can't remember the country. Mm-hmm. They are starting. So the 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 for lack of a better label, I'll call them the Nyaupe addicts of that side. Yeah, yeah. have discovered that. Crushing human bone no. and putting it in the no. the joint uh, gives you a uh, a deadly one. Yeah, well, deadly uh, kick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so so now they they there's, they are grave stealers that side. There's like so in this little do- the YouTube documentary I was watching. In this particular graveyard, there were like a thousand bodies that had been stolen already. A thousand. Yeah, that had been stolen already or raided yes, because apparently they've discovered that the bone. Adds, uh, there's apparently a chemical I just can't remember Mugancha. now. Yeah, but it it gets you higher than high. Mugancha. Does the so, bone have to decompose first? What, like how 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 ready is the bone to be crushed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And you dress like a leprechaun. <laughs> 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 <My mind. laughs> but how crazy is that, bro? That's crazy. Do you remember when people were stealing uh, plasma screens? The box after the funeral, like yeah. the family. Would, the casket, yeah. No, no, but that you see, that makes sense because of they how much. It again. Yeah, so so like that's like the perfect crime. That's a perfect crime because we've just put a sixty thousand rand coffin in the hole. I'm gonna come later. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna close the grave. You won't know as the family. The mm. dead person won't know as the deceased won't mind because, you know. And then I can clean it up and resell it. Yeah. Right. I think so, we should we should give our kids a break as a generation. We shouldn't want fancy that's, that's, boxes. That's that's that's, that's where I was getting at, right? And and with us, there's this. We have this uh, like very weird relationship with death, right? And and I used to have a gag about like how black people love each other more when it comes to death. Yes. Yeah. Because we never want to spend money on each other, but death. I will dress in the best. I'll even yeah. hire a car to come mm. to your funeral. Yeah. Mm. We're gonna spend two hundred thousand mm. that day on mm. food, venue, uh, getting you the best. Co- they even get buses. nice chairs now. Hey, with Emma. gold and black sound, Emma. all of that. So Emma. we put we put emphasis. I remember. <laughs> Bro, you know, you know what messed with me? Like, I think it was a special assignment documentary I watched years ago. They were showcasing yeah, one of the funeral parlors, and the lady was walking through shame. You could tell she was new, but she was they told her, like, show the people our showroom. Yeah. And she was showing us the coffins and telling us the prices. And she's like, Yeah, this is a casket. This one is got a linen inside and a what what material. Your loved one is gonna be very comfortable in here. Ah. Comfort in there. <laughs> she said your loved one is gonna be very comfortable, comfortable in here. Yeah. True. Right? And there was no social media at the time, but that stuck with me because I was like, what do you mean comfortable? Yeah. Oh, do you know did. what I mean? And and I and I like what you said now is that we need to start again talking about culture and re thinking stuff, right? Yeah. We don't have to have this extravagant celebration that mm-hmm. leaves our families financially in crippled. Mm. We are so extravagant in our funerals and how we say goodbye. Yeah, Ooh. we really are. And you know, the funeral is the most opportunistic place ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where you meet. You know yeah. the uncle that's been waiting for like last night? Yeah. Uncle. Then he's asking he's for... Hey, you know that uncle that's... Does anyone have a copy of the death certificate? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's the police. 
No, we, but then there's the cousin who's, who's so important in the boys of Soweto. Hey, me now. I'm going to talk to you later. Skip us the boys of Soweto. Hey, let's tell you last one. I mean, imagine. Imagine. So when, he, when he gets it, and he's on the car again. No, what's that? Yeah, what's up, bro? I think, no, I man. think, yeah. This, so, so that, yeah. I'm saying this episode, we will definitely, because I know we do this, we read every comment. Like, guys, please, cheese gang, under the comments, the matrasi, all of it, all these all things all that we're talking about. Snakes, if you understand yeah. or you know, please, please explain. Yeah. No, 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 no. But, 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 uh, but I'm with you, and and I'm not a, I'm not like that one thing. It really gets to me about the policies and asking for the death certificate. Yeah. So a lot of us black people, we don't mind betting on each other because we know we're gonna die. Yeah. So you'll find someone who has eight policies. Rosemary, that yeah. person that can't even bring. A coke to the family pry or bring something mm. pays every month for you hundred bucks for you. Mm. For, for, for it's so that cheap. Put. That's why it's so cheap, right? But yeah. black people don't mind spending three thousand, making sure everyone is covered, so that on the day of the funeral, I get a drink. When we are all together, you also tell us what's wrong with your body. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, oh, it's going. Go. He's been gone yeah. for the past <laughs> month. <laughs> Your son's been gone for the past month. Can't come out for the two months? And then people aren't forthcoming in the families about um, the fact that they've taken out those things. That's why they find clever ways of getting the death certificate. From yeah. Yes, go nom gaga mo seven za e. Yeah. O ting anje e. Yeah. So that on the day, so they or they don't disclose how much they took out on you. So they come back and they go, oh, here's my seven thousand I got for. Bob Jonas. Okay, but my question to this now is because I've taken out this funeral policy on you, do do you guys expect me to give you that money? Hmm. You took it out for the funeral. Really? Ah, <laughs> Mara one line. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just no, asking, that's, that's right? a good point. Though. I paid for it alone, right? That's a good point. And I point. could see that Pops has got three years left. Yeah. He's gonna <laughs> like he's gonna kick it soon. I'm gonna do this for myself. <laughs> I need a young 200k to go to Dubai, you know. So, are you entitled to? Do you know what that's like? Do you know what that's like? I'm sorry, I'm yeah, not, no, just, it's a good question. Let me play this yeah, brilliant. Yeah, no, no. The same context. It's like the Lobola chat. Are we putting out this money to help the wedding and it contribute be for the wedding? Or program. is the parents gonna pocket? No. And I hate this thing where kids like where where the where the girl went to school in Harvard and then they go, yeah, one million. Even those points. You're gonna put that debt on us. Actually, what are you gonna do? Because you have a daughter. Uh for the balls. And you're paying all of the school fees. Uh, for the balls. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna claim back the the the, 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 the cost for that. Because I, I want to be in a position as a parent to make things easy for my daughter. Yes. If she has found a meaningful connection, right? Yeah. Because what I've seen traditionally, culturally, and what I've gone through as well at a certain point was that you realize that, again, families, when they, when they get together, they start creating scenarios. Yeah. And they, they are uncles and whoever who become opportunistic because they, they look at a certain thing and they go, oh, we can. Mm. We can. And, and you're not putting the needs of the kids first. Yeah. Mm. You know, we're not supposed to be breaking... Two people who are trying to start a be life together. together, yeah. And now we clashing There's, heads because yes. no, mina lagwa But also, commodifying your child means that you've created an idea to that next family that this is an asset that can be bought, mm. right? Mm. And so, if they have ugly hearts, um, they might start using that to their advantage to go. I when I suck about the lily million, I was going to do. And it should come from the right place. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be about that. I was going to Yeah. I was going to Mina. Oh. I feel. I feel. I feel so guilty now. What? God, when my wife says, "Can we get takeout tonight?" I always go, "Maragere." Yeah. I, I, so why? Why did I pay full price? <laughs> full price. Oh, Much full, full price. price. You full. Oh, you finished your lobola, my brother. Yeah, oh, I finished. This guy. Oh, yeah. What, what I think he was raised by a Danish man. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we don't <laughs> take <laughs> half, okay? <laughs> the full <laughs> thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, listen, yeah? We do the full thing, okay? Check it, check it, check it. You still good? 
Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's impossible. What is it doing? Is it giving feedback? Lighting, lighting, it's lighting. It's yes. Mac. Yeah. Rale Boca, I'll see what upon door. Body Pell Porto. Humble drawing this time. <laughs> but yeah, bro. So 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 here's here's yeah, what I want to know because so okay. yeah they're so dope right because we we we're, we're talking about like identity and as a because we don't a, have anywhere where we can discuss any of this type of conversation especially as young people right yeah we rely so much on our elders and the scary thing has started happening especially in my life where you start realizing we are becoming the elders we are the already elders are the yeah elders. the elders are slowly going yeah. away you know but the last you know, you know, say, it's not yeah. mine. It's you. Yeah. <laughs> so all the all the Yo, slaughtering and all of that the stuff. Legend. The last <laughs> was myself, my brother, and 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 my cousins who were my little brothers. Jeez. We we had mm. to do all of the the main <clears throat> stuff, and it and it hits you like a ton of bricks. That yeah, moment. my brother was at that moment. Yeah, yeah, and of course, but also for me, like I feel like a lot of things in spirituality. This is my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's hear. It. I feel like a lot yeah, of like the <laughs> like, This is my opinion. Yeah, I feel like a lot of things of, of on spirituality, especially because I'm in the black community. In my immediate world, I come from tr- some kind of trauma, mm-hmm. and I feel like some things I just don't want to carry it on. You know, like there's a lady that told my stepdad that my channels are going to be closed if I don't acknowledge my real dad. And I was like, that nigga, you understand? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even you know, know that like, nigga. Like, like, that's on me, you know? Yeah. Like, that's on me. Like, don't come in. Because now if you curse me with your words, it might manifest in my thoughts. Like, yeah. I might think, well, I'm going down, I'm going down. If and then really go down. And, believe and then manifest whatever you were thinking. Really and then you come from spirituality. It's a trauma Exercise, bro. Like for a lot of these things are trauma. Hey, you have to do a nice tombstone because what, 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 what when we're gonna do that? These are poor, 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 poor households yeah. that waste all of their money. Not waste, but take all of their money, and they do this thing that they believe is going to get them good of, fortune yeah. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Then they start saying, "Lebuloi, in the household. Oh, oh, loy, amang, man, oh, loy, man. Most of it's trauma, bro. Yeah. You know, I've went to so many family members who I can't eat. And they cook the best that it was. It was so much. <laughs> hey, what? that chicken no, looks good no, from the no household. Way. No, but no but way. but Titi, that is that is important, right? Because that's what I'm saying. Regardless of how we might feel in this current setting, there are certain things. There are certain things that need to be done, right? And where I might have felt like you, I had to go through the process of acknowledging my 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 dad's surname. I had to go do uh, traditional ceremony to yeah. be, you know, in your all yeah, this stuff, yeah. right? I had to, I had to go and do that, um, and then even so, how it affected that was even with my low baller, I had to then go back because you know the, the negotiations had already started, mm-hmm. but then I had to come back and say there has been a new development. Yeah. We now ask that you also accept this surname, mm. you know. So now I'm coming in with two surnames to go. This is the surname that we, we you know and acknowledge, but we've also acknowledged yeah, this one. Right. And there's a there's a bit of a let's say a fine that you pay on top of that. Yeah. To say, yeah, to say like a top up to say uh-uh, this is it is a top up. Sammy's right. It's a top up. It's, right. it's a top yeah. up. So it's also a top up, right? But but again, it's yeah, it's friends. it's about ensuring that you, so whereas I might have felt like you a few years ago, I'm at the point where I don't want that to affect Imani mm. and other future kids that I will have in my family. So I needed to make sure that if there was something that was not done mm. properly, I need to make sure that it's done. So that there's nothing that, there's no loophole. There's no, oh, because you didn't do this, this is not happening. But that's mm. what he's saying when he says it's on him. He feels like it, yeah. he must make the decision or if he doesn't have people to give him the full chat, like the research conversation yeah. we are having then that's what must happen in terms of everybody finding yeah. out. Like the umbrella in the house thing, the mirrors magnets, I think. Yeah. There's so much stuff. I struggled that is with like, that for so long because I didn't know whether to close the TV and the mirrors when I started living alone. Because <laughs> my grand did it all the time. And then there was a store. Habits. And I was like, actually, why do we do this? Blocked waffles. Right. Yes. But I have a question, right? Yeah. Speaking about... 
when 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 we go back and back and back, right? Say you didn't do the ceremony of acknowledging your father, and of course you have Imani. Imani has a child, and now and then Imani and then Imani's child has another child, and then a traditional healer goes to your great grandchild and says. Yeah, things are not going right because your granddad never used the right surname. Do you think that in the afterlife you're going to bother your great grandchild that much? You didn't go change the surname. I just want to know. I just, I'm just trying to make sense I, of it. Listen, it's your I'll, mistake. I'll be bro. very honest with you. Me, I'm gonna be busy in heaven. <laughs> Kings, I'm gonna be selling out stadiums in heaven. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what happens sometimes. I'm going to be touring Little Tupac. That's what happens Jackson. sometimes where they go, your grandmother was using the wrong surname. Yeah. And so the issues in your lineage come from yeah. that time. And so you so guys you have to like, go back. Why would your great like, grandmother why is she hate dead and worrying me? For yes. her mistake. Yes. Right? No, when but I, I think it comes back to like, there's certain things your ancestors want to do for you, but because they haven't been acknowledged, because you haven't done the thing to let's let's treat it as like a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. You haven't plugged yourself into the router. Okay. You understand? So how are you expecting to get yeah. Wi-Fi? His conversation is why are you angry? And but why my thing, no, but I know, but it's, it's not yeah. an anger thing. It's just like why it's acknowledge. No, it's not, it's not an anger thing. Mm -hmm. It's a acknowledge me so I can give you wife. It's a blessing thing. That's how I'm choosing Mara to look at it. We plug wait, your wife no, so wait, no, so no, six plug generations as later. my kids. Because where where I was at fault, because no person is 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 perfect. Yeah. Where I might have made a flop, because our parents made mistakes, our great grandparents are and so forth have made yeah. lineage mistakes. It then the burden falls on you to rectify it. And that's the message that a lot of traditional traditional healers yeah. give us is that if you don't do something about it, the then next your kids one, yeah. have to do something about it question. and their kids. Where did spirit okay? Let's go. Hey, that's a very ah, yeah, yeah. Don't take us further. Ask, We're I'm deep already. Don't no, take us further. No, no. The big bang. Ne? Boom. La face. Okay. Homona lady was the first one to be here. <laughs> Who is because here's my thing. Madlozi are people if, that have walked to the planet. It's not like Madlozi started as Lozi. No, no, of course. I mean, it's 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 other timelines that have walked this. Earth before even a dinosaur, I'm sure is a closest for something. Yeah, which which <laughs> I th you which know, family do you know? Do you know can, I, can, I, can, oh, I, can I give you a real answer? Can I tell you? Can I give you a real answer to that? And if you want it for real, right? If you really want to go and unpack it for yourself, and you're really interested, you have to get Credo Mutas in yes. my children. Yes. It's a yes. heavy, heavy book to read. It, you have Credo you, you you can't finish. Yeah, Credo. Yeah, Credo. Yeah, Ubab Credo speaks about how much folklore in, in African culture tells us where we come from, right? Yes. And so in that book, you get to hear the stories of Unkulunkulu, Umvelinganga, right? Which is the great creator, right? Yeah. And then all of the demigods that exist from that and how we come into this, into this plane, mm -hmm. into this consciousness. And then you get the great ancestor of Untu, of the Bantu, Right, and you follow that walk through. And if you want to know where the ancestor story comes from and all of those things, you can actually get the answer. Aye, credo. You are credo ring. So here's <laughs> not, here, not credo. I'm saying no, it's no. I've got a boy of mine who went into a rabbit hole when it comes to the spirituality and a lot of the um, Illuminati saga stuff, also. Yeah. Oh. And in general, this is in general with the information you intake. He, I think three years later, can't see anything normal. Like yeah. everything to him is a trigger. Everything to him is a this, is a that. And he, his response was, I wish I didn't intake everything I intake yeah. from documentaries, from yeah. reads, because a documentary is not going to tell you what they don't want you to know. Everything is going to be... It's intentional. Given yeah, with intention. Mm. So... A lot of other things or diving deep into certain things need you to also have your level of self-drive and understanding. Read, yeah. So that you don't also dismantle your own mentality or your own understanding of certain things. So knowing what I need to take this information to learn and to grow or mm. to move. Like I, I had a conversation so, with Scoop yes. and Scoop I think That's went dope. through a lot of different religions and he or to understand. And a lot of time with Credo as well. To understand, yeah. Scoop was giving me the chat that in order for him to understand and not judge a specific religion or not judge certain people, he needed to feel what they felt to understand what, they, what they're about. Read the whole Bible, understand the Quran, do this, do this, so that he can and it works for him. 
Mm. So note that, yeah. yeah in me, in your research, the church works for me. Man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory. Oh, the church. Hallelujah. Yo, Jesus. I want to know this, uh, <laughs> Langs. <laughs> Langs. He did it. He did the the the. the hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Langs. I want to know. Yeah. Um. With regards to this identity that we're talking about, yeah. right? Um. You know, and you know, we we haven't really touched on your music. Yeah. But I want. I want to because, because we've had such a <laughs> dope conversation, right? Yeah. But this this the whole point of, of, of popcorn podcast, and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's th- we're not here to interview you. So tell yeah. us your first hit single. No way. No. So so the whole point is to have these conversations, and I I also want to understand in terms of identity because yeah, as an artist, right, especially in music, I understand that when you start, and, and this is stuff I've read, I've watched, and whatever. I understand a lot of artists when they start, they they don't start finding their voice. Mm. You know, they they always start mimicking a voice or mm. trying to sound like. And only after a couple of times do they actually find their voice. Yeah, absolutely. And and it goes it goes for the writing as well in absolutely. terms of writing music, in terms of your actual actual voice. Yeah. So I want to know for you, when did you find your voice, and when did you start inserting your identity into your voice? <laughs> Good question. Um. So. I started studying music when I was young, right? I, I when I when I got to NSC, I was a drum student, and then I really wanted to sing more than act. And then I went into the classical side, and then UCT I did jazz. And the most frustrating thing happened for me while I was studying jazz is that I felt like we spent so much time trying to sound like other artists, mm. right? And then the most messed up thing happens. Then I watch the Miles Davis movie and then they say a line. Where, he says a line where he says, um, stop trying to make me sound like someone else. I'm in pursuit of sounding like myself, mm. right? And I'm in the midst of trying to study a degree of jazz. And here's this master speaking about why are you teaching me to sound like someone else? Why am I spending so much time learning to, how you feel? You know what I mean? And it confirms that that I need to sound like myself. And so to answer your question in the shortest way, I think I'm still finding my voice. Mm. And I'm 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 a work in progress constantly. And each work that I put out is me coming closer to to the fullness of truth that lives within me. Um but but the the the, the gist of, of my music is really reflective and retrospective in the sense that everything that I write about is something I've been through, you know? Mm-hmm. If I if I, if I I speak about leaving the club in a Jaguar and we're popping champagne, I really did that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If I, if, I, if I speak about, hey, you broke my heart and I'm so mad, dog. Like, I'm really, really mad. I, I really felt those feelings, you know? And if I say, I, I really look at you and I dream of beauty and I want great things for our future, I really have that desire, you know? Mm-hmm. And so all of the music that I've written thus far has been a reflection of, 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 of those things. And I mean... I write a lot about a lot of my music is love songs, yes. you know, and so ah, we're not lava. Some people think that I, when I date them, they just like yo. That means I'm gonna be content, right? <laughs> 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 and you probably are, but you, you you have to be impactful to be content. You, you and also, you uh-huh. know? Same WhatsApp group. Ja, ja, ja. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good in a shower, my head break with Donald in denial. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, I reflect on those relationships, man. And I've been lucky to have love um, uh, be present in my life uh, three times now, you know. And so uh, I lost two loves and wrote about it. I wrote, the, wrote about the first one. The last one happened recently. And uh, I, then I, I then I released the single last year that spoke about you know, Chef Lindsay dying and and oh. the kind of grief that I was going through when he died. Um, but 
it's just I, it's kind of like a chronicling of my life when I when I write music, mm. and 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 that's what I try to do. Um, and I'm in like my Rick Rubin era right now, where I'm listening to a lot of uh, free thinkers, and he speaks about how important it is to treat your work as almost like a journal, and not worry what people are gonna think. Right? He's like, mm. if you wrote when you write your journal, you don't wonder what mm. are people gonna think of this. You're not spell you know, checking. You're not checking yeah, you're, you're just really pouring yourself out. No, and, yes, and I think a lot of people always say that they go, man, you're so vulnerable, you're so honest, and it's really because I have to, I have to. To face myself because I think you would hear me if I was lying or if I was trying to be like I'm such a cool six pack R&B nigga mm. I, no I'm not I'd buy that song you know what I mean I'm cool <laughs> but I'm not R&B, you know what I mean I really yeah. am not like I'm 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 happy right now. I'm in love, and so that's what I'm writing about right now. In that time, I was in grief, and that's what I was talking about in that time. Mm. And 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 before, you know, like all all, all the different, like when I wrote the song with with Yanga, uh, we Yanga Chief, yeah, when we did FIFA, Chief, Chief. right? Um, yeah, when we did FIFA, I was really depressed, man. Like, and he he kept on saying to me. When are you sending me the verse? When are you sending me the verse? And I was like, bro, I'm in such a dark place. I don't know how to write about this. Like, it's too heavy for me. Mm. And he was like, no, just do it, man. Just do it. And I was like, okay, I'll do it, but I'm going to have to be honest. And then I, and in that first line, I go, suicide thoughts make me feel glum. What, like, is, what, cro- the, what does the word glum mean? Just like down, like yeah, just yeah. down and out, you know. Um, the night crawls in and now I'm feeling dumb. Um, and, and that song, like my verse in that song speaks about me searching for the music. And mm. to a point that I stop singing lyrics and I just go, ba, 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 da, da. I don't want to fall. But, I, but this is where I am right now, mm. you know, because I don't have the words. And so all I can go is ba, 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 da, da. Mm. I've got the melody. Sure. But the words but the are words not coming, are... right? And sure. so this is what I must do in order to, to reflect that, right? I'll tell you that I'm in this dark, dark place that has switched off my center of creation to the point that even as I try to cre- create and you hear me, I'm out of words. Yeah. You know what I mean, and so that's how I that's how I reflect, you know. And even 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 on you live on that I that I wrote with my nana. Which which was reflecting on on Lindsay's passing, I said I don't I don't want to sound sad, right? Because I already did the first death when I was eighteen, and I spent ten years crying, 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 crying. And I said this time I really, really want to take on this grief in a different way. I want to come out of it and be happy and be hopeful and have faith that things are going to be, get better, mm-hmm. right? And I said, but I don't want to dismiss it. And so we speak about it in the song and I go, I'm just thinking, right? In a different tone Mm -hmm. of hopefulness. I'm just thinking about all the times we shared and I remember the promises we made, Mm -hmm. right? But But now they won't be, they won't come to life. And so what can I do? I can only remember. And so I'll remember us in the garden because that, that those were the laughters that we shared. I'll remember your voice. I'll remember all the beautiful things we shared. But you know what? This is the only way that you'll live on. And so at the end of the song, there's a big sigh of relief of just a... Mm. And it's not a release of me, but it's a release of his spirit from me. Because yeah. I have a life to live as well. Yeah. And I have to go Continue. on. Do you know what I mean? Your lyrics are beautiful when you sing them and when you speak them. Thank you. But if 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 I have six months left to live, let it be the best six months of my life. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna spend them in a cooped up in a room, wanting, desiring, yearning. This is my last six months. Mm. Let me let me also enjoy it. Let me do the things that bring me so much joy. And that's why I took some time off. I, I took a, a couple of months off. And as soon as I was done taking those months off, we said, let's get back into it, you know? And Loisa calls me on to tour with Tamiya and we do Tamiya in South Africa. And then Clash of the Choirs calls me to do the show and I get a chance to give back, right? And so instead of taking from the world and desiring to be held and cuddled and taken care of in order to heal, I'm given a group of people who need healing for themselves, Mm. right? And who desire this dream and this life that Mm. we take for granted so much. And being around them heals me because I go, oh man, I get to come back to this house. I get to go back to that stage. I get to speak to this team of mine that 
thrives for me and makes sure that things happen. And as I open up my spirit to hopefulness and to peace and to, to, to faithfulness, more things come. Mm. Right, and so it's been it's been a beautiful journey of just being. So that's where my identity mm. is in the music, right? Oh, is that God. the stories are mine? Yo, bars. I love, I, you know, I, big bars. Yeah. Yes, because you know, I wanted to ask you about the healing, and and you know, you you answered that perfectly. But I think, you know, as you broke down your lyrics, yeah, understood how the music healed you, and how you explained how you healed and you wanted to live in the music, yeah. and how. By sheer virtue of doing that, you're healing so many people. Mm. I hope so. You are. Mm. Yeah. You are doing the Lord's work. I hope so. You know, because I mean it's not God, always it's not always that deep though, if I'm being honest. No, no, but 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 <laughs> but, but don't forget <laughs> no no don't, don't forget feelings. Yeah. We get put through situations yeah. so we can advise because yeah. a lot of the time people go through stuff and they feel like they're the only ones going through it. Absolutely. Things. Why when me? You start Why to is yeah. this sharing? Yeah. You speak to me. So when so. I hear your testimony, I get comfort. Mm. I get comfort. Oh, so you also went through yeah. this. Mm. And this is how you chose to pull yeah. yourself yes. out of it. Therefore, I'm going to follow your template. Mm. Yeah. Right. Um, when it comes to, again, you mentioned performing. Um, like one thing I, oh, like I love about you, and this is what we're talking about um, you know, when 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 we were sort of talking about having you on and we're talking about points about you, one thing I love about you is that you use your real voice all yeah. the time. I've never been at a show where we were either working together yeah. or or I was watching you perform live at a concert, mm. outshining international artists. But I I I <laughs> boys. I've never heard any assisted type. You yeah. use your real voice yeah. all the time. Even the backings, like, it's me. So when we arrange it, like, like on, a, on I, click stack, track. I stack that track, you would know. Trust. Um, so whenever we do the shows, so but when we prepare the shows, we arrange it, right, with the band. It's, it's bass, it's, it's first keys, key, second keys, all of that. And then... So now pr promoters don't like booking big bands anymore. Like it, it's just, it costs a lot of money, in there, right? And so I found myself at a place where I was just like, just doesn't sound as, as impactful full. and as full. Mm -hmm. And so we sat with the band um, and it came after I did Tamiya with U Uloiso and we did it in and I heard how he had done a choir just by himself, right? Mm -hmm. And it sounded so full. And so I went back to studio and I sat and we stacked vocals. And I sang every single part, soprano, bass, alto, everything. And we just made sure that it sounds so much more full. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the reason why, it's, you know, using my own voice, it's not easy all the time because my instrument lives in my body. I'm That's a robot. Is, they, yeah. they can, they, they, they can mm. rock at super. Oh, low, low. And they can be at Nostra until... Can you six in the morning. But yeah. the moment he plays the drums, he doesn't have to use his throat that he was using all night. Mm. Whereas I'm out with Robert trying to keep up with him and his Don Julio and then I must wake up and sing. Right? <laughs> hey man, Robert, I'm you're like, joking. I'm yeah, making yeah. so I'm a secret oh. life. So that's what I'm saying. How strenuous is it on your voice and how much, how often do you find yourself having to like take care of your voice and not speak yeah. to people because that's also a real thing. Yeah. I'll, I'll sleep the whole day after. Hearing homo folks, Yeah, yay, yay, bro. Yeah, no. Homo Vox and ginger tea. Ginger tea. I those are my things that keep me. Did you hear that good. Beach? Ginger tea. But buddy. the worst, the the worst incident that I had was, was when I was in high school. Obviously, at NSA we perform a lot, right? And there's this the, when I was at NSA, there was this week called Festival of Fame where mm. you would have about like 30 schools come into the school and watch you because we would put on productions. And every single day you have big, big audiences coming to watch you. And I always did main school production, which was the big musical. This one year, first night, my voice cracked, completely gone. I had to go to the ENT, which is your ear, yeah, no, throat, throat nose, nose specialist, because yeah. they're all connected. And he had to put me on steroids. <laughs> like he had to, <laughs> I had to sit with the thing yeah. for an hour. And I, went to, and I sat there in the Malberton Hospital. And every day for an hour before the show, I would have to get steroids to be able to sing. Because it's a muscle insane. at the end of the day, yes. right? Mm, yes. But the thing, the thing is, it's bad to have those steroids and continue to perform because the injury is still there. 
and you almost depend on it. Yeah, you right? don't want to depend on it too much yes. in order to be to live through it. Because you're you're making the wound worse. You're just confusing your body into thinking that it's fine, but it's actually not fine. The reason why it needs the time to recoup it is because it needs time to heal. Yeah. Now you take the steroid and you tell your body actually it's grand. And so time off is really important. Vocal yes. exercises are really yes. important. Um, yeah, and just discipline, man. When I know that I have work to do and shows to do, um, I'm just, I, I recoup a little bit. And preserve. And I, start, and, and I yeah. try to preserve my voice as much as I can. Um, but after some time, I think as you grow, your voice matures a little bit more and it allows you to become, uh, it, it just becomes easier to do a lot of shows at once. Um, I, I really want to take this moment to to honestly give you your flowers, right? Yeah. Thank you, man. Um, I, my first CD growing up was a Boys to Men CD Shows. that I shared that I shared with my brothers. That was the first CD our parents bought us. The the first Boys to Men CD. Brothers to Men. So you can understand how much I looked forward to coming to see Boys to Men, yeah. right? And then I saw you there. And I mean, you've seen it a bunch yeah, of times. We've all the worked together. We do. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, ah, it's been just some um, bully show. But I'm here for the boys, too, man. Yeah. So okay. I'm there with my wife. You know, we had sunbed, popcorn, slushies, gumnandi. Um, <laughs> we're waiting for boys, to men, you know. Um, Rabais is no longer there, so it's the three of them. Rabais was the guy who'd just speak, baby, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please what forgive me. Rabais? I think too much bass. No, I'm joking. No, 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 he got <laughs> sick. He got sick. No, he's, he's, no, he didn't die. He's, he's still, I think he's still alive, he's still but he alive. got sick. He got sick. Uh, oh. But surely he can still sing bass. Ah, uh, there's issues there, but it's story for another day. There's technical <laughs> issues there. Yeah. Yeah. something. Because that's why they also didn't perform certain songs. Ah. Yeah. Found out, yeah. Right? So I'm there for boys to men, right? Langa Mavi gets on stage. Come on. And pours his heart and soul into that performance, right? So, from one entertainer to another, this is where I'm giving you your flowers. Because you. again, I've seen you. We've worked together so many times. But that night, you, you transported me from being a entertainment person watching another entertainment person. You made me an audience member. Yeah. You created a world and you put me in it. Mm. From your performance, song selection, yeah. and the storytelling you did on stage. Yeah. At some point, you disengaged from that, went into the audience, had a conversation with the audience member, took the conversation and put it into the lyrics of the song. Yeah. I, I was like, what is going <laughs> What level of like, finesse like, is going <laughs> on I mean, here? Work. It's crowd work. Crowd so, work. So imagine you, as a comedian, I'm watching that. He'll give you a chat and then say, and you know, by the time I got there, I realized, and then it's Re another song. Yeah. 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 Now he's taking that nah, person, like put it in, and they say, bro. That thing you do, Doug, is Thank crazy. You. Man, yeah, this man, man is, this man, this man is too much. Entertainer, Thank my dog. My man, this man is too much. But you know, when Lana yeah. was done performing, I was already taking myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My but wife you know was like, what it is like for things like that. Boys. You know what it is for things like that, right? And it's a, different, it's a different thing to perform for an audience that's here to see you, right? Like, I know the shows that are mine, mine, mine. Yeah. That people are there. And I just go, Phew, and they're dying. They already... Mm. <laughs> yes, because they're yeah. there for you. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they're there for me. They yes. listen to the song. In fact, they've practiced the lyrics so hard that if I change a lyric, they go, ah... That was right. me. You know that was I mean? me at Boys to Men. You know what I mean? They changed the lyrics. <laughs> How? But now, if I'm yeah, playing boys, boys to Men changed the lyrics. Yeah. I know what Pops is talking about. Yeah, I mean everyone does it. But what what I'm trying to say is that when I'm playing when I'm playing a, a Boys to Men and when I'm playing a, a Kenny Latimore and a Lela Hathaway, I know that. 60%, 70% of these people are not here to see me. And that's mm. now your right? chance. And and some so, of them don't know who you are. Exactly. Uh, yeah. right? And so. I can't come into this with ease. Mm. I have to come into this Go hard. fighting yes. mm. for my life, right? And so yeah. you have to make a first impression. Me, yeah, it makes me feel like the nine-year-old kid in Meadale that has now been put on stage to sing and doesn't want to be made a joke of mm. for the rest mm. of the week. Because assemblies on Monday, if you sucked, you're going to be teased the whole the week. The whole week. People are gonna walk past <laughs> you your class <laughs> <laughs> and so it took me back to that where, where 
you 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 work for the applause man and yeah. so and and it means a little bit more when when you get it in that moment because as much as we don't like to say it as entertainers, we love the applause. Yeah. Like, yeah. we yeah, absolutely much. love the ah, what, applause. What, what one of the applause you got from there, boys, hey, to man. the men's. Incredible. Ah. So, Hon- honestly, honestly, he's, I, I'm being honest and yeah. you can jump into this. He honestly stole the show, right? Yeah. To the point where, and, and you know what it's like in comedy when you're waiting to go on and the guy before you is killing. Yeah. It's the worst. When you can hear the audience doing this. Yes. And then you can see the panic in the next comic's face that's yeah. going on, right? All the time. That's like... <laughs> and this is, this, this is me ending my flowers by saying, bro, honestly, you set the bar so high mm. that the people I was looking forward to seeing my whole life, Jeez. you outshone them. Thank you, man. That was honestly Thank one you. of your best performances. I am a super, super fan. What did the kids say? I'm no longer a fan. I'm an air conditioner. Air conditioner. Nah, you, huh? yeah, I'm no longer a fan. I'm an air, air conditioner. conditioner. But in a show like that, like, do you walk past the boys to men and say, hey, should have stayed boys? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? I, I really do. I really do. I got, I've got the shimmeriest outfits. <laughs> tell, me, tell me who's on my team. She knows this, right? I'll be doing tours with these artists and there'll be like one outfit for the whole of South Africa. Bra. I go, Richard Nisi. Next day, Teba Makugu. Bra. Next day, Sisha Masango. I literally, it's... I, I, I really give it my best... I, I try to put my best foot forward every single time. And to speak to humility, right... And what you were saying, I think humility is not a performance. Yes. I think humility is an act of gratitude every single day in every single moment, right? Yeah. You're grateful for the next person and so you treat them with kindness. You're grateful for the moment and so you treat it with respect, right? And that's how you your act of your humility is to be grateful. And when you're grateful, you'll be of service, yes. right? And when you pretend to be humble, right, it's a performance. A, no. Yeah. Oh no, not really. No, yeah. bro. Thank you to my team. It's not eh? Thank no, you to but, my team. but if, if I am to me, if I am really thankful to my team, you see it in the way that I treat them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You see it in the way that I talk to them, the, the way that I interact bro. with them. Then you know that I really am a, a Love you, buddy. <laughs> sorry. I really am that person. And so yeah. you know, that humble chat, shout out to the Liz North God, man. I was not so I understood humility. Yeah. But he just corrected something I had to understand because yeah. there's a level of confidence that people must understand as um, prideful. Yeah. And he said to me, yo, you're doing the most. And I gave him the, yo, I'm trying because I was yeah. trying. And in my head, I'm like, I still want to do more. Yeah. But then he's like, but who's doing these funny videos? I'm like, it's me. It's like, yeah, so who's doing these dances? I'm like, it's me. It's like, so what is Roboboy doing? I'm like, all these things. I'm like, so you are Roboboy. Uh. I need you to be Robot Boy. Jeez. And keep doing Robot Boy. And I was like, Jeez. damn. And, and that's, that's, that made me understand the level of confidence. Because another thing is that people say you're humble. And yes. then you, you have it. And then in a space without you noticing it, you try to keep that title. Mm. Instead of act out of your confidence because you've grown to a certain extent. Yeah. Mm. And because the world has given you that thing of, your accolades not being acknowledged. And you feel like if I do walk around and say, yo, I did kill the idol's performance. And yeah. they used to say, it's like, they're going to say, no, you're prideful. But that's not me walking into a room and saying that. That's in a yeah. conversation of acknowledgement of the hard work that we've put out. Yeah. And yeah. the levels that we add. So, but, but you, you can't, can't say that actually, by the way. Sorry, sorry. Shout sorry. out. Yeah, you did. You, yeah, yeah <laughs> no, you, Robert, you are too much. <laughs> <laughs> you really were. I would like idols. Murdered it. Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, closing like thought for, there. Yeah. Closing thought. Now. Also, happy belated birthday, by the Dang. way. Yay! Thank you. It Una was a crown one. birthday. Uh, uh. I don't know. Uh, uh, are you a crown? 25th of Jan. 25 uh, Jan. I turned okay. 30. 30? Oh, oh let's know. Let's know. It's crazy. I'm a 94. <laughs> I'm on Yeah, yeah. Come on, dear. Oh, no. That's hard. 
like, okay, I was going to tell about a performance that I saw of yours uh, yeah. at Bacardi. But at, do we oh, have man, time? Sunday service. Yes. That was My fun. Man, I was, you know. Everyone was hot over. Yeah, I'll yeah, tell I was, you. No, no, this was way before, like, uh, oh, way, way back. Before ago, COVID. Yeah, you, you I think ago. 2019, before <laughs> before COVID. Okay. One, after World Cup. So... What I did was... <laughs> what did you do? In Brazil. And I said, so... <laughs> I went, so what happened was, obviously the night before I was intoxicated. But the thing is... I had to take care of your girlfriend that night. I know, so because the problem... I was so bad at you. It's free. Everything is free. Everything. Yeah, the food everything. and the black people it's we free. struggle so with you free. Can eh? start, you can start when you wake up. As soon as you wake up, you can start. I went, mm. So me, I started early that day. <laughs> but I put my four o'clock. I was like, let me take a nap. <laughs> so that when the real partying <laughs> begins, I'm alive. No, but Cardi does that to you. Yeah. 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 I woke up at 9 a.m. the next day. <laughs> It's the last day, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up, it's too early. Everyone is awake, is sleeping already. I'm like, no, man, I need to do something. I have too much energy. I try to start again. I'm like, no, let me not start. Let me go to the beach and relax. Go to the pool, rather. Go to yeah. the pool. Hey, there's gang people at the pool. I don't know what's going on. Hey, I see one guy dressed in a red suit. He's not now, Sosie. Don't know, Sosie. Don't know, Sosie. On the Sunday blues. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you <laughs> so phenomenal. We are injured, but yeah. we, we recovered. We all recovered. And that was the highlight of the entire Bacardi experience because oh, of how <laughs> slipped because of time. how uh, interactive that moment was. We all needed that. Sure. Right? Yeah. And he gave it to us in a way that we didn't know we needed it. We thought we needed, you know, just a, a relaxed. <laughs> we, we were we were jiving more to the Sunday blues than we were to the yeah. piano that was playing that the night yeah. before. Because you were not there the night before. I was going to say, you slept the whole time. <laughs> but on the real, yeah. bro, that yeah. lane, like, like, and I'm yeah. glad you mentioned Loiso because you guys, dog. But like, obviously, when we have him here too, we'll get yeah. his flowers. Yeah. But dog, like, on the oh, excellent man. level yeah. and you, understanding, man. because like Pop says, as entertainers, we we critic ourselves on that level because anybody can come and sing a song. Yeah. Not everybody can sing a song and storytell and align the story to the song and have his backing vocals and make sure the click track is on the same level as him. He's got phrases and different yeah. bits with the band and dog like that stuff. And it's your hard work, bro. And it it it's it's evident in what you're doing now and the work that you keep doing. Thank you, bro. So shout out to you, bro. Thank you. Yo, we could literally sit and speak with you forever. Yeah. Amen. Ah, man. Like, what a what a beautiful ne? conversation. Dope one, dope one. Yo, like, you need you need to come back when you want to yeah. selfishly man. plug Guys, something. We're gonna... <laughs> I don't think I can come and plug anything here. <laughs> no, like, anytime, please feel free to come through. Thank Pella, you, also, this is a way of us bribing you because we need you to sing at our weddings. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh-huh. Amen. Uh, no, uh-huh. my, my so, well, yeah. my mine and it is we don't know about Robert, the I soldier. What did you do? So my my other wedding is uh, is soon. So we're gonna chat. After I'm still mad. I wasn't sweet. invited to the first one. Uh, I, I can't. Do, I, I, we'll 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 talk after the camera. I'm so, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> it was uh, we eloped. <laughs> <laughs> Lang, have you ever in been in a fight, fight bro? Have I ever been in a fight? Mm. Yo. Do you really want to know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you win? That boy's to mentor. I had a whole fat lip. Because that happened recently. Hey, man. That's recent, most. It is very recent. Can't you see my lip? I had a little bit of surgery. Surgery? Oh, Guys, massage. no, let me tell you. Boy's to men, I had the fattest lip. And some people probably kill me for talking about this. But I had the fattest lip. Um... No, it's not Seppi. Seppi. No, no, it's not Seppi. Right. Right. Compliment the guy the edges, leading no, the bottoms. No, no, no. Uh, talent. Funny uh, Seppi. So, and I wrote Seppi. Seppi, Tana. You know Tumi, right? Yes, yes, yes. Tumi. Yeah. Tumi and I at McDonald's after the show, we're buying food. This guy is being mad snacks with his hand, right? Like, you know when you can see that it's an abusive relationship? Mm-hmm. So now Tumi and I have the longest order of food to order. And then he says something sideways to her, right? 
And then she replies. And then now he throws, he's throwing a punch to her. And I said, never, bro. And then you... Not while I'm here. I said, and we rocked inside of McDonald's. And then I him. Then he threw me to the wall. I was like, okay, I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, but big ups for... Big ups for yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That, that, that is the best fight story. Yes, we've yes. ever had. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. Cheese boys, cheese girls. What a... Cheese girl. Oh, what a episode. Yeah, I, yeah. Very what bad. about people who are lactose? Intoleration. <laughs> yes. Oh, then they must go watch uh, the other ones. <laughs> They're spreading humor. <laughs> There's offside. Offside. <laughs> There's offside. <laughs> There's podcasting chill. <laughs> Bye. La, Sidila. Now, well, mom remembered now, bros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Uh, you know, of- just just quick and in closing, right? Yeah. You've you've already imparted so much knowledge on us. Um, I just right now, I always use this opportunity to talk to someone who might want to venture into what you do. Yeah, There's someone out there who's who's watching you, who's watching your every move, who doesn't know what it takes to to be this great, who doesn't know that you actually haven't even gotten to your greatness. Yeah. Mm. What what short quick nugget of advice do you have to a young cheese boy or cheese girl watching now who wants to do, do what you do and become who you are one day yo man i think um and i think we we've probably gotten to this point it's it's the most important thing is to figure out what do you want to share with the world right what is your story what makes you unique figure that out figure out your find that voice of yours right and once you find it hone it Spend as much time learning about what you love in any way that you can. I don't believe that you have to go to music school to be a musician. I don't believe that you have to go to theater school to become an actor. I believe that if you love something and you pull yourself into it wholeheartedly, it will come back to you eventually. So once you are able to have a, you know, just to be able to steer that car that you are driving, then you need to be very persistent. And once you're in that persistent place, be consistent all the time. Don't be great last week and whack the next week, you know. Mm -hmm. People, the last week's audience is not the one that's here today. Mm -hmm. So be who you are. Uh, tell the story that you have to tell because no one else lives the life that you live. And once you have that story to share, consistency and persistence will get you there eventually. The cream always rises to the top, no matter what. Oh! I, what did oh, The cream you? rises to the top, oh, yeah. no matter what. I don't know why you were the first person I made eye contact with. Spiwe. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that beautiful phrase was corrupted. Uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> Finish it now. <laughs> cheese boys, cheese girls, the cheese, cheese gang. gang. Oh man, I'll be very honest with you guys. Like today's episode is is the reason why I love doing this, man. Hey, like, bro, man. Oh, man. I, I can't yeah. explain the feeling that yeah. I have right now. Like so dope. This was just a magical experience. Thank you so much for. Thank you guys. Advice. Thank you so and much. And shout for out coming. to what you guys are doing. I'm really. You need to give other people a chance because you have a million jobs. We also want Simba chips. <laughs> okay, <laughs> robot. I'm, I'm. I'm. I just think that you have built something so incredible. I think kids yeah. look up to you in such a huge way. We look up to what you do, and I they think it's to. so beautiful the way yeah. that you've been able to rise and just. The first time I met you to now is still the same person. And you're just killing it. And, and I'm really, really proud of you. This yeah. is my boy. Yeah, killing it. Always. Yeah, hey. uh, please rising. invite me to the farm. For sure. I want to sure. come to the farm. Take the cheese and the popcorn to the farm one day. Let's, yeah. let's see yeah. um, that we'll side of your life, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, because the equipment is at risk, but we'll... <laughs> We'll go with something. I, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been an honor. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> Langa Mabuso. Langa Mabuso. <laughs> Langa, let me tell you I'm something. I'm sure we spoke for two hours, hey. Ah, but it felt like 20 minutes. It felt like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's why you yeah. saw the vendor man walking up and no, down. I could see like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, so <laughs> a lot of people might have slept on you from your days in Mondio to yeah. Meadale. You know, catching the bus and the transport, going to school, Ish. eventually going to NSA and uh, studying jazz. A lot of people up until now, even those 
Yeah. Who, when you walk onto stage at Boys to Men, are like, oh, yeah, who's us? Oh, yeah. They might have <laughs> been sleeping yeah. on you. But let me tell you something about us here at Popcorn and Cheese. We have not slept on you. Thank you. We do not sleep on you. Thank you. So as a token of our appreciation for coming onto the show, oh. as we are people from the South, we want to give you this pillow Thank I love those you. to yeah, say, we're going to start doing this. You know Thank what I mean? You. The only person who should sleep on themselves <laughs> is you on, is this your, pillow. on the pillow. Yeah. Can I really keep this? Yeah. That's for you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. yours. Thank you. I really appreciate yes. it. So that when you sleep, you remember that there are guys who do not sleep, do on, not you. sleep on you. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and on that note, cheese Thank boys, you. cheese girls, and the cheese gang, it brings us to the end of this beautiful episode proudly brought to you by a man who looks like if Trumpies went to private school. <laughs> Uh, before we close off, is there anything you'd like to shamelessly plug right now? This is the time. Bioscope Sundays every Sunday. Um, yeah. Oh, what's this? Uh, Most Ridiculous is out. So go yeah. check it out. Uh, I'm a head right on that. I'm going nice. to be giving you guys a lot of stuff <laughs> this year, man. I, I do a lot. I just don't talk about it. But this year, I'm going to talk. Shafak. <laughs> we love the talking. Shana. We love the chatting. Talking about that, back from fighting the forces in DRC, uh, Lieutenant Robert, is there anything you'd like to plug? Uh, Flavor trout, Mo Fire, the lime green can, you already know green means go, go get it, Mo Fire. Nice. Also clean, the merch is out, the link is on here. Let's do the things, let's keep the country clean and let's keep the world clean. Oh, Dennis, Joe, thank Joe. you. Um, and uh, Most Ridiculous is out, you can catch it on Comedy Central at uh, 9 p.m. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, want to take this time to send a shout out to the home of podcasting studios right here in Centurion. Because honestly, we don't know any other. Ladies and gentlemen, beyond <laughs> the eyes. It's beyond your expectation. It's the place where your eyes see beyond what they need to see. This was actually a 20-minute episode, but because of the stylings of Beyond the Eyes, they were able to pull it and make it a two-hour episode. <laughs> amazing editing, <laughs> amazing facilities. Even during load shedding, we are here at night shooting Beyond the Eyes. That's how it we do. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Beyond the Eyes, what was music that? Music to my ears. Music to my ears. Like the person sitting on the right-hand side of Mpo Pops. Speaking of sitting, he's sitting on a suite. We are sitting on a leather mm -hmm. seated. Comfort. Furniture. 2050 event supplies. Oh, yes. If you need to be understood, you'll be sitting at the right hand. Oh. <laughs> Langs, now that we've paid the bills, is there, any, <laughs> is there anything you'd like to plug? Is there anything you'd like to plug? I don't know where this comes up. <laughs> Um, I don't know when this comes up, but if it comes up before Valentine's Day... Yeah, if Valentine's Day is um, next week, Wednesday, yeah. so it's the 7th of 14th Feb. of uh, February, Brown Sugar in Durban, 15th, 16th, Untitled Basement, 17th, Soweto Theatre, 18th, Naira Sculpture Park. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be booked for the rest of the year. Oh! Just for, uh, yeah. No, not arrogantly, oh. but like... For sure. Follow on the socials, you know? Um, yes. We're going to put music your plan. coming. More music coming out. I've got a new single coming out soon. Uh, album coming out this year. A beautiful, beautiful big orchestra show this year. Ooh. Um, and hopefully another TV show. Oh, yes. Well, I enjoyed doing TV last year, so I'd love to do TV again. Let's rock it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are rocking our boys of Soweto attire. Shout out. All right. Big shout out to Bob, the stylist. Boys of Soweto merch available, 99 Juta. Please go and check him out. He is Bob, the stylist, uh, rocking boys of Soweto. We keep it local. We keep it clean. Mr. Robot Boy rocking the clean par, uh, not par, uh, soldier oh. merchandise. Sorry. <laughs> This is the par. Uh, <laughs> you are wearing a mug shot of yourself on yourself. Uh, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to thank you guys to the Cheese Gang. Thank you so much for all your comments. Thank you for, for, for being vocal. We learn so much in this space, but we also learn so much from engaging with you. So we thank you yes, for that engagement. Strong. Keep it coming. Um, thank you so much for spending this time with us today with our amazing guest. From me, the corn that pops. And the cheese, that's great. We, we are, are Robo Pops. Pops. And Jenga, my dates got Langa Mavuso's touring Valentine's Day weekend. We, we are, are out. out.
you choke on your success? Sor. That was dope. You guys are amazing. We have to go through the Shout out to the crew. Sorry, two seconds. We just need to take pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, Laga Mavoso. Hello, man. I'm Jason Goliath and this is Humpo Pops and we are here to demonstrate Jason Goliath and Humpo Pops and we are here to demonstrate the stain removing power of Oh No. This guy, look at him. His shirt was orange this morning. Orange. Now it is white. One dose of Oh No. Look at it, sparkling white. It's even reflecting off your eyes and your eyes look beautiful. Do you know how much you can look more beautiful with Oh No? You can put it in your makeup. You can put it in your toothpaste. Bling, white teeth. Smile. Bling. If you want your hair to be white, all you need to do is you don't look convinced. You know what I'll do? I will give you a live demonstration right now by applying <laughs> oh no to Jason, my body. I'm it removes sure. fat. fat. You know, yeah. It removes fat, I'm sure. I'm ready. Can't do believe fat. it. Fat is removed in one easy wash. Pop out! I love a doubting Thomas. May yeah. I use your outside so shower? I'm gonna use your outside shower and I'm gonna apply the stuff to my body and then you will see the fat will be removed in just one wash. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Are you sure? Voilà! Regoumle l'aïti! Oh non! Imounyou la mafoura, imounyou la di douda! Robopops! Ah oui, c'est ma cheese girl, c'est ma cheese boy là! We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, a nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Who's on this one?